Often, when an organization is preparing to update or purchase a new information system, they will first look at the most popular or the most attractive information systems available before they understand what their business needs are. At the Public Health Informatics Institute, we emphasize to our stakeholders that by defining your functional requirements prior to looking at what systems are available, you can ensure a successful systems implementation. A functional requirement is simply a statement of what you need an information system to do to support your work. Functional requirements can be used in discussions with software vendors and developers to communicate what you want from your information system, as well as a reference during system implementation to ensure that your business needs are being met. A functional requirement should include what you want the system to do to support your work, not how you want the system to accomplish what you want it to do. We asked Jesse Clark, an Immunization Information Systems Manager from Nebraska, attending a training here at PHII just that. Why do information systems developers prefer to receive functional requirements telling them what the system should do and not how to do it? He had a lot of insight to the topic, seeing as he's been a software developer himself. As a developer, I love only getting the what we want to have happen and leaving the how out of it because so many times the individuals who have their, their ideas and requirements and the business needs don't know what they want, don't know how to get what they want, and have constraints on what they've, with what they've had in the past in coming up with those requirements. Too many times I've experienced where a requirement will be handed down to the development team and it's very narrowly focused, it's identical to how the system in the past was designed, and it limits what development can do with new technologies. It essentially cuts the knees out from under the developer. Things may have been developed a certain way in an old system, and by adding the how to the requirement, you're carrying all those limitations into your new software and the development team can't go use a new technology to improve upon process, to improve upon the user experience and the functionality. So by capturing the what as thoroughly as possible, it allows the development team to come up with ideas also. Now, it's always good to have the secondary steps and the follow-up conversations on, okay, we can go accomplish your what in these ways, what are your thoughts on that? Having been in all of it, moving from development into project and product management, I like identifying the what, but I like to then also talk to the development team and ask questions. What can you do? That gets me out of the tunnel vision philosophy of this is my requirement. As, as the provider of the requirements, I can evolve what I think and what I'm looking for in software by working with that development team. But it all starts with identifying and truly identifying the what and leaving the how out of it. There will always be time for the how in functional design documents and in diagrams of what screens are going to look like and mock-ups and things like that. So yeah, I, I agree with you guys completely. The, the what is the key to the whole process.